Hail there. You what's up, Internet? Okay, so I've done a lot since last time. Uh, Rython still isn't here, and neither is Raw. It's really only been about an hour since I recorded episode two. So this is Curious Artist, or his character name is Axol. And uh, we've been hanging out for a long time, pretty much for like an hour, and he's been talking about his RP character, and I've been talking about my RP character, and he's he's a swordsman in training. His dad used to be a an architect and a swordsman, and right now we're at the theater, and he's just talking about how his friend gave himself a dislocated shoulder and concussion here at the theater. Fun stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm really loving the server. And despite the few people that are here, like, it seems that there's only this guy, two other people, Wolf and the friend and his workers, and this other couple that have been around. And so far, it's been me and him, and we're waiting at Rython's Forge, and the cloaked guy, I don't know if I got record of him, but, um... He scared the crap out of us, because, like, we were having a long talk about, like, this guy and stuff, and, um... He appeared, like, right from behind us, so, yeah. So I gotta keep talking with this guy, because we're having a lot of fun here. So I'll see you guys in a while. Maybe if someday I get decently famous, he'll he'll be here, and, yeah. He'll be like, oh, that was me, and I'll be like, hey, guy, and we'll be friends again. Okay, guys. Okay, so a lot of things have happened, and I'm deciding to record now. Uh, first and foremost, I was on my forge down there by Rython's Royal Forge, and I logged out because it was really late, and this is a whole other day after I recorded the last bit they just saw. So I left, and then I logged in again, and I spawned in the forge. So I died. And apparently this is one of those servers that, like, have to bribe people to give votes. So I was able to vote and get a whole bunch of auras. And I bought a new sword, a new pickaxe, and three bowls of soup. And I tried to make my way all the way back here. It worked, but now I have no hunger, and I have, like, this raw chicken leg that I don't know how to cook yet. Um, and so I just sat in the Royal Forge. I met a lot of cool people, like admirals and all this, and they've all been really cool and all this, but, you know. Eventually, I get super bored, and this guy named Cobalt Katana, and his, his uh, RP name is, of course, uh, Initiate Theos. Boom. And so he brings me up to this blade place, because at first I went to the front gate, like, just being like, hello, can you guys give me a job to be a guard or anything? And they're like, no, get off our property. And they slapped me with a fish, and uh, that was really humiliating. And I uh, got back, and I just sat there, and he's like, are you looking for a person named Ryososo? And I assumed that he meant Ryathun, which is obviously the person I'm looking for to teach me blacksmithy. So I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. And then he's like, you want to join my guild? I could talk to Ryathun. And I'm like, oh, okay. He's, he's right there, but whatever. And so I ask if I can do blacksmithing there, plus swordsmanship there. And he says yes, but I guess he thought that I said, um, can I do swordsman here and then still go and do blacksmithing? He's like, oh, yeah, of course, whatever you say. So we go through the back, and he gives me this wool block so that I can put it down and then glitch over the fence like he did because he doesn't obviously have permission either. Although he is an initiate at this blade place. So he takes my sword, gives me five auras, I think. He, yeah, it was five auras, and I'm pretty sure I bought the sword for, like, 15. And I wasn't realizing that I was selling it to him because I gave it to him. He's like, let me take a look at it. And I gave it to him, assuming that he would give it back. He's like, oh, it's a good tradition. And then he just gives me random auras, and I'm assuming that he was just paying me. So then he shows me around in the blade place, and then he goes... I go in the inn, and he goes to wherever. He goes to this, like, one map. One castle is like that away. I could probably get to it, but maybe it's a secret thing, and I don't want spoilers. So uh, I sat down in the end until he eventually logged off without saying anything. So he's a good guy, I guess. And so I, I'm getting bored, and now I'm about to leave the blade, and I go into this little city here, and I'm like, oh, looks like this is everybody's bed. Kinos, Dakaris, and all this. And I remember Theos saying when I got here, I was like, wait, so where's Rythun? And he was like, what, Rythun? Who's Rythun? <laughs> so eventually I tell him the royal, he's a royal blacksmith of this place. And he's like, oh yeah, I heard him. He was probably good. And I'm like, oh, of course. So I'm looking at this, looking for Theos' bed. Of course, I can't find it. And the motion blur is not helping. And I'm like, oh, there's no. There's, he talked about Gaius, but I don't see any Theos. And I look over here, Alexander's. 
and then Rytha. The royal blacksmith is part of the blades. What are the odds of that? He's like, oh yeah, I have no idea. And he's got a double bed too, so that means he's an important, important person. You see what I'm saying? And over here, Cooney. Hino, whatever. Kino? Whatever. Oh, someone's here. Oh, some. Okay. This could be cool. Uh, hopefully she doesn't kill me. I think she's m maybe part of the blades and is going to kill me. Hello? Can she hear me? Yeah, she can hear me. What was her name? It was like Love Some. I guess it was the Love and Love. She didn't go in the forge. Because if she's part of this, I'm not technically a part of the blades yet. And I could be illegally in here. And then she could probably kill me. Which I do not want to be a part of. I saw her going around this way. So I'm assuming that she's going to enter the same way I did through here. I had to place a block. Oh, I'm trapped in here, huh? I was outside. So I had to place a block. And then like before it disappeared, I had to jump in here. But now I don't have a block. So this is going to be a cool kind of way to escape this place. Because I'm kind of trapped in here. Uh, and I have to be quick, too. Because if I'm not... I'll starve to death because I only have this raw chicken, as I said before. Oh, you hear her, Why? You can hear that? Or is that just my headset? I can hear her. You can hear the, the grass movements. So yeah, I definitely need to go downstairs somehow. I can't believe right through is part of this. I don't know why it's pretty laggy here. Like, it's usually 60 frames everywhere. And uh, now it's going down to 16. It's probably because I'm recording. And the thing was, uh, I had, like, no disk space left, so I had to go to 30 frames per second instead of my regular 60, so that's a thing. I've never been down here before. What is this? Huh. And the thing is about the server that changes is people's names. Like, you can... Oh, it's a forge! Dude, is this... Is this a... Uh, there's no, like, fireplace. Oh, fire! Dude, this is a forge! Dude, this kid has no idea what he's talking about. Theos? He tells me there's no forge here, and he has no idea who... No idea. Well, he has no idea who uh, Rythun is, but Rythun is freaking like a main part of the blades. And there is a forge down here, and this is supposed to be fire. Dude, this guy's an idiot. So I really want to be in the blades now because I only have a forge, and I can't wait for Rythun forever. Obviously, I'll just starve to death, and that's not a very good, a very good way to die. So yeah. Hmm. Oh, the bathhouse. Oh, I need a bath actually. Can I? Oh, can I go in here? Oh, this is gonna kill me, huh? Please don't kill me. Okay, so it didn't kill me. That's something. Uh, is my hygiene going up? Please tell me my hygiene is going up. Yay, full. Okay, sweet. So I guess just go in the bathhouse and then boom, done. Oh, I've never been here before. Oh yeah, I have. Okay, that's cool texture. I mean, cloud going through there. Hmm. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna try and escape, and as soon as I find a decent route, I'll get back to you. Aha! Here we are in the courtyard. Okay, so there is this major gate, which I'm assuming is magically powered, because it's kind of impossible to open and close this guy. Hello? I hear you're eating. Hello? Who is near the blades? Uh, so somebody's here, but I do not know who, and I'm hoping they're in the roleplay channel so they can hear me. Hello? Ah! Hi. Yeah. So this is the person. I actually went to the Blades, and I wanted to get a job here, and they told me to shoo. And now I'm inside, and she's outside. So this is a fun, ironic turn of events, isn't it? She's a slow typer. Come on, type. Come on, type, type, type. Type, type, type. I don't understand how these work. Maybe those holes there are pistons. Hello. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to do a lot of chatting with this person, so I'll, I'll probably get in trouble and die. And, yeah, if it gets to that, then I'll, I'll get off. So, yeah. Okay, so apparently I'm in a lot of trouble. <laughs> so I used a block to get into this just because I was following Initiate Theos, the one we were talking about before. I put a block down, I jumped on it, just like he did. I did it directly after him, after he told me to do it, and I thought he was part of the blades and, like, all had authority to do this and now these guys are like, oh you guys are block missing, it's all bad. Ah, <sighs> so yeah, now I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh yay, I'm not talking during this segment because I'm chatting while trying to commentate. Apologize, apologize. Okay, so this is right then. Okay, give me a second. Oh, you have no idea how good it feels to be back this forge. <laughs> so apparently, 
Everyone was super mad at me, and uh, I was gonna get banned for reals. <laughs> they were like, "Oh, you're block glitching. That is against RP." And uh, yeah, so I was getting in some major, major trouble. And right when I was about to get banned, right when everything was gonna go terrible, right through and swoops in, and he's all, "Yo, yo, <laughs> what's up, internet?" And uh, yeah, so he was like, "Okay, it's all Theos's fault. I understand that it was just misunderstanding." And yeah, so now we're all good. And apparently I was all out of character. They really are not blaming my Irashi guy for this because I was just being an idiot. Because at the at the time I was just super super desperate. Because look at my hunger bar. I have this, and he tells me that I'm t allowed to join the blades. He teaches me how to block glitch into the into the actual camp and all this. And I really should have cut it on video for you guys. Although they'll probably never see my channel until years and years if they ever do see it. So yeah, so I'm back in the forge. Waiting for Rythune to come, and um, yeah, I guess it's all as it should be again. We're good. I was gonna get a little worried there, cause Ra would have been really mad at me if I got banned for something stupid like this. So anything like block glitching or any of that crap, I'm never gonna do again, cause that got me in some major trouble. And uh, now I know that, and I was just at the time I was just way too desperate to to think. Look, look, this is my guy. I've got a wooden pickaxe, three dry as hell bowls, and a raw chicken. And I'm sitting on this forge that I've already died in once. And this bath here, I've died in twice or three times. And yeah, okay. So it's time for me to just calm down and wait at the forge because Rythune is back. And all this. There is love. She will never like me again. <laughs> or at least I'm hoping. Everybody keeps on saying, oh, this hasn't ruined my reputation. So yeah, this is all my fault. And everyone said, no, it's actually all Theos' fault. And I'm glad for that. He took my like at first he was a good guy. He was like, "Oh, you waiting?" Oh, okay. And he was he like showed me how to be part of the blades, and he was totally inviting me and all this crap. And yeah, he almost got me banned. And apparently now he's gonna be in huge trouble. Like everybody in the chat is all, "I want a word with right no, Theos." So uh, okay, so chilling out. I'm here at my at my forge, and I would have so much to write about if I still had my journal. And yeah, I already talked about how I logged out and logged back in on the forge and died. I may want someday to get a new journal so I can write that down. That's being loud. Play your music. Okay, so thank you guys for everything. And um, don't know if this is gonna be the end of the video now, but I just gotta get away for right there again. See you guys next time. Okay, so a lot has changed. Uh, it went from all grim and Shane getting banned to all, it's all Shane is gonna go to get a cool job. So I met Rythen for the first time, and the RP went well. Um, really should start recording the RP part, but it's a lot of me talking in the chat, and I'll probably just be saying whatever comes to mind and whatever I'm typing. So thanks, sir. So I'm not allowed to go in, am I? No. Huh. Who's, who's Fiela? I do not know where that is. Yes, sir. Okay, so there's a jog in there. I'm going to leave that alone for a second. And so what happened is that I found Rythen as well as another cloaked man. The, remember the guy that was after me before that was carrying me in Oakdale. I really got to start recording parts where me and people are talking. Although that might get really boring. I could do like a little section that I do myself and like to sum up the the RP and I almost said RP -ness. <laughs> again. Um so he met up with me, a uh, Laxus guy who's like some kind of Irish drunk guy, <laughs> as well as another the the cloaked black guy that is always after us. And when I say black guy I mean he's got a black cloak on. And so he all talked to us and he said that uh, he will train us all, but we have to meet him in Iron Tones. So that's my new job. And remember, I fell in the forge. And now I need to buy a new book to do my thing again. So, uh, let's do dash real name and do F E L E L I A. Moon Druid. Is she on? Please be on. Moon Druid. Oh. Okay, so I guess it is Fielia that is her in game. Oh, she's on. She's on. Message Fielia. May I come in? Oh, wait, no. Seems as if the door is jammed again. Sweet. So now I'm trying to get into here. 
yeah. So I'll see you guys whenever I get a new book. And it's going to be a lot of talking. As you saw, I got all quiet when I was chatting, and that's also not a great part of commentary. So, yeah, one sec. So, I'm waiting outside the bookstore, listening to these wolves yell madly at me. <laughs> and uh, apparently she's coming back. We have a messaging system where you do death messages, like in all of the unwhitelisted essentials bucket servers. And apparently in this, it's a role play, like you're sending a bird with a message to go to them and talk to them, and that's really cool. So, um, I sent her a board, and... Uh, Apparently the door is jammed, so I can't get into the shop and buy a journal. So as soon as she heads back, she said she's on her way, and as soon as she gets here, then I'll be able to buy a journal and then head on to Iron Ton. I think I'm going to record that whole journey to Iron Ton just because it's it's kind of a big one, and I need to find my way there. I remember seeing a thing on the f server about a map that would bring me to Iron Ton, but uh, I'll figure it out. What is WC? Is that... who cares? <laughs> uh, something like that. Anyway, so I guess I'm just going to wait for Fiat and I'll see you then. Waiting and waiting. <laughs> uh, oh, I can... Oh, watch this. No, wait. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Now look. Look, look, look. Oh, okay. So, uh, we're here. And <laughs> we finally made it into the bridge to Oakdale with all the supports and stuff. So I'm following Oak Axel, and hopefully we're going to get to Ironton soon. Yeah, we're just gonna run. Because there's skeletons and crap all around us here trying to take us down. This is getting serious. Like, Endermen are popping out and crap. So, we're almost to Oakdale now. So, <laughs> let's run. Me and Axel. <laughs> uh, he popped on the server at, like, the last second before I was about to leave the Iron Dun. So, he joined me and now we're, we're just sprinting. I told him everything that's happened to me in the past. I got the new journal, as I've shown. Why did I decide that was a good thing to say? <laughs> I'm crazy right now. We just gotta get out of here, dude. Oh, hell! Man, dude, that was crazy. He just punched the creeper right off the bridge. Oh, that was beast mode. Okay, so, uh, I said we were going to do the entire thing to Iron Town, but I got shot in the leg and I had to limp halfway there, so cut that out. <laughs> and mobs everywhere. Bats are flying around, giant spiders, creepers that are exploding everywhere. Uh, just run. <laughs> Okay, so now we're now we're just gonna run to Iron Ton because it's getting cray. It's really getting cray up in here. Uh, glowstones. Okay, let's just run. Uh, I have no idea where. Okay, there's mobs, and freaking Iron Ton is almost here. We gotta go, 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 go. I don't even know how much farther it is. Okay. Here. Okay. So there looks like the exit. The exit. Okay, so we also got some leather and some some food on the way here. Oh god, dude, it's getting so crazy. <laughs> ah, he clipped me with an arrow. Uh, don't go there. <laughs> My adventure side was like, oh look, an entrance. Let's go here. Hopefully, there's a chest. No, we gotta go. Uh, hey, Batman, we gotta go, dude. It sucks that Roz's not here for this. I'm gonna miss the guy. I'm gonna be an Iron Ten for a while, learning Black's movie while he's. Still in Oakdale, learning how to be a farmer. I wonder if this water could get my hygiene back. Oh, zombies. <laughs> we just gotta go right now, dude. Like, there's boats and crap. No! I can swim. Let's go. And, oh, parkour. No, hardcore. That was not, that was not parkour. Okay. <laughs> Pulled myself back up onto that. And he's picking up the rotten flesh like he knows it. Okay. So, we gotta do some careful parkour here. Dude, there's... Oh, holy crap. Is there a lot of guys up in there? Just run. Just go. Just don't even worry about the world. Axel! <laughs> oh. No. No. Okay. So we're almost there. We're almost, almost there. Is he okay? Oh, that's all I'm worried about right now. Is he okay? I hope he doesn't die. Because if he died at this point, I'd be all alone. That would suck. Because he's a, he's a swordsman, or he's learning how to be. So I'm kind of relying on him to do all the cool kick people in the face thing. I'm just I'm just a blacksmith who doesn't even know how to craft yet. So we're almost to Ironton. Safe? Oh god, I don't think we're going to be safe until we get all the way to Irontown, really. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go into Irontown. 
So what's the purpose of this whole thing? Is it like some kind of shower mechanism or what? Okay. Okay. That was some crazy stuff right there. <laughs> so, um... Yeah. We just went through the most crazy freaking thing ever. Where we were in the cave and there was literally just mobs pouring down in buckets at us. Like, as soon as we stepped a block, there would be three zombies that would come out of the wall and come and attack us. We literally just spran... Spran? Is that a thing? Uh, we sprinted and ran at the same time, apparently. And we just went so, so fast. Oh, that was craziness. So we're here, finally, at Ironton, I hope. Which way? So I'm going to check the hidden map, because that's cool like that. Um, I don't know, we're just scared the gin map. Uh, this way. This way, why not? This way looks like it could go somewhere. We get, we're just gonna have to walk now, because we sprinted for so, so long, dude. It is a crazy journey in those caves. I'm, like, no joke. There was mobs everywhere, and they're, like, parkour bridges where you had to, like, jump over everything. Oh, it was getting really bad at the last point, dude. And he's, like, freaking out. Yeah, now he's probably going to... Because his parents actually died here at Stormhammer. So I'm probably going to have to do this alone. Okay, so I got to take care of him. Be right back. If that isn't the most iconic little view right there. Wait, screenshot. <laughs> that is amazing, the sun in the mountain there. An actual one going. Okay, so we have no idea how long it's going to be until we get there. So, me there. Whenever we get there. And looks like we have a newcomer, Eric. He, he looks like Beatles dude, but he's Eric, trust me. And, uh, yeah. So, we got a new guy, and we're heading to to Iron Town, and hopefully we'll be able to meet, hopefully you guys will be able to see Rythun, because uh, he's he's going to be teaching everybody blacksmith, or at least me and that other cloaked guy. So, whenever we get there, we'll get there. Uh, it's taken a little bit, so I apologize. Also, I'm having a very cloud glitch where it's, like, making everything else disappear. Whatever about that. See you in a second. Hey guys, I'd like to welcome you to the underground city of Ironton. And from that point, we'll end this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, what's up, internet? Okay, so we found this gold area, and that's obviously to mark off the market as we saw in the big last episode. <laughs> big last episode. <laughs> and, uh... Engineer yield, that's not what we're looking for. Okay, so we're still looking for this. One second, we'll find <laughs> Rithian's Forge eventually. So I've been looking around the city for a quite a long time. Looking desperately for uh, Mr. Rythan. And so far, we got Eric and Axel, and I don't know where they went. <laughs> Axel, stop ditching me. So I'm all alone. I'm at the Blacksmith's Guild. And I'm pretty per sure that there's people talking, like Fialealealea, the person I owe 11 freaking auras to because I s kinda stole this book. <laughs> it was 30 and I gave her 19, so I still owe her 11. Uh, where's Axel? I always, I always lose him. I don't know where he is. So, um, I'll find him. And, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, long story short. Axel has been having a lot of paranoia that apparently came from a monster that met him when he was two years old, and it, like, infected him with paranoia, and before it wasn't even hurting him at all, but now he's down in these caves, so now he's freaking out, he's going insane, obviously. We've got Fialala, the person that sold me this book here, apparently she's an iron ton now for whatever reason, and now she's healing Axel, and he's talking about, like, that, what the lily pad smells like and all this, some kind of medical magic that I don't know about, and this is... Mr. Lord Stronghammer, and he's the cousin of Roran Stronghammer, which is kind of a reference to the Aragon books, if you've ever seen those. Uh, yeah, so I caught that, and that's fun. So, now I'm just waiting on her to help heal Axel, and we haven't found Rithian at all, so this is craziness. See you guys, when we found Rithian or something else crazy happens. There's just a lot of stuff going on, and it's mostly, it's really intense, but it's all chat, so it'd be me just being silent, and like, that's all it would. So, yeah. Uh, if we find Rithian or anyone, then, or if this guy gets better, I'll get back to you. 
Okay, so, some, okay, people are coming out of the woodworks, dude. Now there's like a little dwarf there. We got uh, Groomish, I don't know his in RP name, because uh, he hasn't talked to me yet. So, there's like a huge <laughs> thing going on, and everyone's just around Axel, and I'm getting up behind because I'm commentating stuff. Okay, so it looks like this is the split up point. Me and Axel is, uh, we're here at the, the rusty anvil, at the inn here at Ironton. And meanwhile, Fiola, Lord Stronghammer, Groomish, and whoever that guy is, we're all going to split up. It's just going to be me and Ax with, and those guys are going to go their, their way. So, uh, we got a skylight, we got rooms down there. It sells steak and all this? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> we're good down here while I wait for right then. And now it's just me and Ax alone again. See? <laughs> Okay, so I, we have a lot of long talk, and it's just going to be me typing. So if you guys want that, you can comment below, of course. Okay, okay. So, uh, Rython, he's here, and he just helped Axel and me. Axel is uh, dead asleep. He's, he's, he's so asleep that he's invisible right now, so don't even look. <laughs> and so far, Rython and this guy, Palewater, they are talking about blacksmithery and all of their good stuff. So apparently they're doing this. Um... He's a student in the engineering guild, and he's been sent to gather supplies and redstone, cobblestone, stone, and iron. So yeah, basically they're just talking about like a trade or some sort of madness. So I'm just gonna watch, and hopefully I'll be able to talk with him later. And I also want to do some mining too. I want to master both architecture, blacksmithery, swordsmanship, and mining. Oh, that'd be craziness. And I also want to do a little bit of uh, logging, but come on, five things that I mastered. Most people only do one, so I don't know. I want to do lumberjacking, though. I think that'd be fun just to be able to get my own logs. Although, by the time I master blacksmith, I'll have enough money to just buy logs, so we'll be good. Uh, I'm kind of still waiting to actually get into building before I actually have some skills. And even once I have the skills, I want to wait until new, o new, what? Uh? <laughs> new oak deal is is up and running because I don't want to build in a city and just have it disappear. So, um, I'm just going to kind of <laughs> listen to these guys act like I have any idea what's going on. And uh, I'll see you guys in a second. I almost said it in the video, but I didn't. <laughs> and thus, we follow him again. <laughs> I've been following a lot of people today. And we're now leaving the rusty anvil and now heading off to the miner shop, apparently, where um, this guy is going to show this guy where to, to get redstone and such things like this. Uh, yeah, I've got a lot to do on this, and as soon as I... The thing is that uh, this RP is kind of completely and totally relying on other people to, like, this guy, I have to wait for him to actually teach me blacksmithing. I can't do my own thing and learn how to blacksmith on my own. I still have to uh, listen to this guy to become master. And I can't just become a miner because, obviously, I can't even... I don't even have the materials to build anything, and yeah, it's a, it's a huge thing where you have to rely on everyone. Like, I can't make myself a pickaxe and go mining because I'm not a lumberjack to get freaking wood to make a pickaxe, so I've got to rely on a lumberjack master to teach me how to mine trees, and then I'll have to get, like, an artisan master, or maybe you can craft a wooden pickaxe by yourself, I don't know. But you'd still have to get a log master, and if you want to do something like a stone pickaxe, you'd either need to become a blacksmith or uh, some kind of crafting guy. I don't even know how to how to work all this stuff. A lot of this stuff I know. I still, I'm not even into this yet, so I'm really noobish at this point. I'm just waiting for him to teach me how to blacksmith. <laughs> and I've been following him all around. I had to go all the way from Oakdale to here and through that cave, dude. That was some crazy stuff. Sweet. So, um, I'll be here. <laughs> learning how to blacksmith. And if I learn anything, then I'll, I'll let you know. Again, this is an RP thing, so it's kind of like just a lot of typing, and I think it'll make for some really good stuff once I learn how to blacksmith and things like that. I also want to add maybe some audio clips of like how what happened, like I'll just imitate the people the talking and then do a, a small little mimicky of what's going on. So apparently this was a shop, and apparently no one's here now. Okay. Good times. <laughs> yes, okay, so I gave him my stone axe once the little man left. And he said, oh, I could probably repair this. It is like dot, dot, dot. Or you can. And, um, so apparently we're going back to the blacksmith guild or somewhere for him to teach me how to repair stone tools. And, you know, in vanilla Minecraft, you need experience to 
repair things on an anvil. So I'm wondering how they do it in this game, whether like your level turns into a stamina thing and uh, uh, you need like higher stamina in order to do things, which is you need more level to re repair other bigger things. So yeah, uh, I think it'll be a good fun time as soon as I learn to repair things. It looks like I'm learning that. Still need to learn how to craft and such things, but how many times can I say things in this small little sequence of recording? Uh, yeah, so he's going to tell me, and I'll see you guys then. Okay, so I've made my first uh, head of an axe. Apparently, though, it was not, it was still a pinhead and stuff, so i got to keep on working on it. Okay, so I'm on my third head of, uh, of an axe, and it's looking better. It's sharp and thick at the same time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, KKK. Uh, yeah, I'm not against black people. Uh, we got a whole new thing to do. We got this axe. We completely made a whole new one. And that's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't think he even knows how we're supposed to repair stuff in this, considering the whole fact about, you know, we can't really have the experience required to use an anvil, because unless we have to kill mobs, I guess, and then we can do that on the anvil, but I don't think I still have permission to do that, so I don't know how it's going to work, but I know how to do stuff now. So hey, what he wants me to do now is to sell this, and that will uh, then we'll start training again, and that'll be fun. The thing is, though, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for RP, but he didn't actually let me legitimately... Uh, you know, craft a whole new axe. Like, I didn't get two sticks and three stone and put them together and bring my bow, you know what I'm saying? I really just had to, uh, hey, guy. <laughs> I had to just RP like I was making it instead of actually doing it. So, that's fun. Hey there, friend. Oh, apparently he doesn't exist. <laughs> they did their best fixing the, the broken cave in the cell. Not much that could be done, and honest. Everyone is, <laughs> this guy's funny. Uh... Okay, I'm just gonna leave. Just gonna leave. Oh, Steph only. Oh, he's gonna kill me. So, yeah, I guess my new journey is to head all the way back to Oakdale somehow. I'm just gonna use a spawn, because come on, I'm not gonna walk all the way back to Boralus. That is not a thing that I will ever do again in my life. Um, <laughs> that was so terrible having to walk all the way to the cave. The thing is, though, a lot of people expect you to. Let's see, do I have any more auras since we last talked? No, still point eighteen. Uh, I'm gonna have to sell this axe because it's kind of impossible for me to use the carts and things like that just due to the fact that I'm poor <laughs> and I can't um, spend money on the carts, let alone spend money to buy food from to sun sustain myself. So it's a large problem, and I'm going to fix it eventually. Until then, I need to get back to Oakdale. I want to completely write through this book of mine. Oh god, lag. Oh, I don't have any more space on my disk. I'll be right back. What is all this? Of course I have space. <laughs> I guess my computer just being dumb. Uh, anyway, we're fighting. Can I use this now? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, before when I was... Okay, just don't kill me. Just don't kill me. That's all I ask. Dude, I have no... How am I going to get all the way to Oakdale if I don't have any food? I don't see how this is going to be a possible thing. I'm going to have to eat, like, all the pig's meat and stuff like that. All, you know, all, the, like, the raw crap. And that's the only way I'm going to actually be able to make it. Because I don't have any food. And hopefully I can sell my stuff to a hunter, my, my raw meat. Because right now I need aura really bad. And I guess you just have to sell everything by hand or until I become, like, a legit blacksmith. Then I'll be able to start crafting crap. And that'll be fun. So, until I get Aura, and until I get back to Oakdale, I'll see you guys next time. On the road again. Oh, just took a screenshot. My bad. <laughs>